Uh, I want to start this uh, presentation with some background. Um, in 2019, uh, about two years ago, um, all faculties involved in machine learning uh, got together and started to discuss and brainstorm how we can increase synergy and coordination in teaching machine learning at EPFL. And we noticed that uh, there is a desire to teach machine learning across sections, um, but uh, we have not really talked together, like faculties from different sections are doing it independently. And, um, and since I was supposed to, to teach this uh, machine learning in a new section, uh, so this is a great opportunity to start this initiative of potentially creating and sharing new teaching material for uh, faculties that are interested in TAs um, so that we can uh, all um, take advantage of uh, our work and not reinvent the wheel each time. And I applied to this drill fund and we, um, uh, uh, they were kind enough to give us this funding and create this um, basically project and, uh, and reach our goal. So in uh, one slide, the goal of the project uh, or this initiative is to teach machine learning to second year students at EPFL, not necessarily IC students, uh, not necessarily students from computer science, um, um, but we do ask them to uh, at least uh, know uh, Python programming um, and learn it in the first year. We suppose that they know how to code. And the teaching outcome is to learn the uh, basics of machine learning um, and be able to use it in their own domain of interest, in their own section. Be familiar with all the popular tools, the state of the art tools, and at the end, be able to even implement a machine learning project um, in their, again, section as a semester project, as a master uh, project, and so on. We uh, had a we have a use case, so, so we did it for uh, Genie Civil for civil engineering uh, section, um, and thanks to Drill, we were able to hire um, great students to help us uh, towards our goal. Tom, Luke, David are all students from EPFL across sections at different level. They all have taken machine learning classes. Um, they are passionate about it. Uh, they have also taken classes from online resources, so it was a great diversity. Um, and we added to uh, this team of students, our, um, my own PhD and postdoc, and we took advantage of also of other colleagues from different labs that I'm, I'm sharing here, so thank you to everyone. So what we have done, uh, the first thing is, is was a diagnostic. Uh, we really wanted to uh, see uh, how is machine learning taught uh, across EPFL. We already presented this during uh, last teaching days. I'm not going to uh, go over our findings. And then after having a diagnostic of um, basically machine learning classes at EPFL, but also online because it's a very popular uh, topic, we define a common structure um, uh, by brainstorming with uh, Mathieu Salzman and Joanne Ibrea. When they were both teaching it, uh, Mathieu in IC and uh, Joanne in uh, life science. And we um, got together, given all the online resources um, and EPFL coursework, we came up with a content, uh, what we think a second year bachelor student should know uh, about machine learning and, 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 and I'm happy to share it if, if you're interested in that. Um, so we um, revisited also the lectures with the student. Um, the motivation here is to start each uh, lecture with a section specific real world example. So for instance, when a student uh, joined um, civil engineering, they are not necessarily interested in computer science, in machine learning, in computational thinking maybe. And uh, we wanna make sure that they understand why machine learning is also useful if you're interested in designing bridges, if you're interested in understanding structure, if you're in the, in the, interested even in life science and so on. So, um, and the setup the, of the lectures are always uh, start with a real world example from your section sometimes with a real-time demo uh, um, and um, be aware of all the amazing online resources and animations. So again, to not reinvent the wheel, I asked all the students to 
basically monitor what is available, what is available online, and add it to our teaching material. We um, we don't we do want to take advantage of that. Let me very quickly show you some um, example. This is uh, a demo that really describes how a neural network works. You can change the number of input. You can change the number of neuron and you see the result here. Uh, it's very interactive uh, and we want to take advantage of what the community has done and, and use it also as a teaching material. Um, we, uh, for instance, here also have online resources about, um, again, animation um, that describes concepts like optimization, gradient descent, um, how to uh, optimize the cost function and what's the impact of different parameters. And, and we are also trying to be state of, uh, I mean, um, I like to use the word state of the art, but be aware of the latest uh, in resources that are available that convey this information. Last but not least, we obviously used EPFL template so that sharing is easier. Uh, so if other colleagues want to also have their own set of slides, we can nicely share with each other the slides, the content, and collaborate. And as part of the, the class, um, um, this is something that uh, we usually do in master program, inviting guest speakers. But I intentionally also did it for the bachelor program, uh, where I invited um, a speaker from uh, academia, a postdoc that is using machine learning in civil engineering, so that he also motivates the problem and share why uh, this is very, very um, uh, amazing and uh, useful. And I've also shared someone that in the industry is using it. Uh, and it was very well appreciated by the student because they really understood why we are teaching them this material in the section. So now let's go to the main uh, topic, uh, the labs and what we have done. Um, so we did exercises and exercises were based on notebooks. Uh, this is why I'm here here today, I think. Uh, and uh, and why notebooks first? Um, in two worlds, it's visual. You have direct feedback, extremely easy to use. Um, so it's a great um, environment to teach. We have uh, EPFL Noto, which helps us uh, to use uh, notebooks. What it means is that we don't need to uh, spend one hour installing software, installing libraries by just clicking, which I, I'm going to show it here. Student can click, log with their account, um, and everything is ready. Oh, it's looking good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you can see my screen, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. That works perfect. Yeah. And that's what, what that was the experience of the student. All they had to do is to click, and this opens. They download all the files that we have uh, written. So you and you, for instance, here you see that is this exercise uh, folder, and they can go and for each exercise they can just uh, run it. So let me, for instance, open the linear regression uh, module. Uh, let's open with the solutions. It's more visual. Um, and this is their experience, and they have some text, um, they uh, have the code, and they can run the code, they can see the result, we ask them questions, uh, they can answer, and then again, they uh, implement, uh, they get their hand dirty, um, and they can see the result, they can visualize the result, um, so this is um, a great tool to teach. And we can share, obviously, uh, the concept, the equations. And then, for instance, at the end, they can play with nice uh, visualization. Uh, let's see if, um, yeah, um, that describes this concept and what these concepts are doing. They can play around. And this is very, very, very um, easy. The compute is done on uh, EPFL servers. They are not using even their own uh, computers. Uh, so this is also extremely appreciated. We have done that uh, for, so we have a setup uh, exercise. We have an exercise related to Python because we realized that unfortunately uh, in the second year, um, the level of coding is still not good enough. Uh, so some students um, did not do a good job in listening to the coding uh, <laughs> uh, 
class uh, in the first year. Um, so we have to basically go over again. But we have implemented uh, all these uh, Python um, notebook for key concepts uh, like key nearest neighbor, uh, neural network, convolutional neural network, SVN trees. And the goal here is just again to share this with the community at EPFL. If someone wants to teach or have homeworks with this concept, they can definitely take it, change the data. Uh, so we try to make each of these um, uh, exercises generic enough so that someone from a different section can say, okay, my uh, data is about classifying, I don't know, um, um, in life science, maybe um, someone that is sick or not sick, or um, in civil, we were uh, monitoring um, uh, um, if a structure is uh, healthy or not healthy. Um, so you can really um, uh, um, adapt this exercise with respect to your own uh, section or even use funny uh, toy example. Um, you can also have automatic grading, but that will be the next presentation. So I'm not going to talk about it. Um, and we are sharing everything with GitHub because uh, this is uh, what is making it easy to use. So when students log on Noto, um, they automatically get all the files from our GitHub uh, into their environment. Uh, and this is making it very uh, transparent for them. Another, another advantage of using Notebook is that you, can, you have a lot of third party uh, tools like Collab. Some of our homeworks um, um, are based on uh, GPUs. So we need uh, expensive hardware. Um, if EPFL is not providing it, um, for instance, Google is providing it that with limited access. And again, uh, can click here. Um, the students uh, have exactly the same environment that they have in Noto, but on Collab. So it's exactly the same. So they can either run their uh, homework on Collab and use uh, GPUs or on Noto and use CPU. Um, what we also did about the, uh, during the class, we um, implemented a project. Um, and our innovation was um, that we asked them to participate to a challenge uh, on, and we put the challenge on AR Crowd. Let me uh, click on it and, and briefly share it with you. Um, in the project, they had two tasks, basically two challenge. And the goal was to first succeed in solving the project um, and potentially uh, compete against each other to have better performance. Um, so thanks to AI Crowd, uh, they, they are offering all this infrastructure where you can, you have a leaderboard, uh, students submit their result and they see how well they do. And you have all the teams and they can compare against each other. And there is a lot of emulation uh, and it was extremely well uh, received. And we have very positive feedback uh, by the student uh, about um, the competition. Few uh, interesting stats. Uh, we had 20 teams, uh, um, three per teams, so 65 students, and they submitted uh, more than 1,000 times, uh, which means that when you submit, it means that you have implemented uh, something, you're happy with the result, and you want to see how well you do. So it also uh, shows the level of uh, engagement. It's qu quite amazing that they were that active and they really try to improve the result and, uh, and uh, um, basically compete with respect to each other. So we're very, very happy about that. Then um, um, by the end of the, uh, um, the project, we asked them to um, also design a poster presenting their methodology because it was uh, COVID. We did not do it physically, but we did it um, virtually with uh, Gather Town um, and we created this virtual environment. You know, everybody had their own poster, so you can just walk in Gather Town, go connect to any of these poster. And this was the, another room where at the end they were the best uh, um, team were presenting their methodology in a conference room. And so we were all attending, it was very fun. And this is uh, how the poster uh, look like when you, you talk with uh, a team. Um, and as you can uh, see, so I randomly took some poster here 
but they were extremely of uh, good quality. We were all shocked by uh, uh, the quality of the student. Um, and, and, and frankly, they were sometimes better than uh, posters that we see at conferences uh, done by PhD students. Um, um, to sum up, I think I am still on time. Um, we, this is a, obviously a, a work uh, uh, that is supposed to help everyone. Uh, it's fully open. Uh, we want to um, share it with whoever that thinks that it's uh, useful for new uh, faculties or faculties that want to revisit their course. Um, we can share the slides, we can share the notebooks, uh, we can share the list of demos um, uh, for each of this concept. Also, how to have a project that will run on AI Crowd, which was extremely well received. And uh, this was our first attempt. Uh, uh, and obviously, we will need to improve. We got a very positive feedback from the student how to improve the content of our uh, lecture and uh, exercise and project. We uh, could always add topics, um, especially if we want to extend to master level. So feel free to contact me. I want to thank everyone, Drill, Teaching uh, Support Center, uh, Center for Digital Education, Center for Learning, all um, our colleagues and friends. And I'm happy to um, answer any questions that you have. Um, here are some uh, student feedback. Um, the first, I think, uh, goal and challenge for me at least was to make sure that they understand why we are teaching them machine learning in civil engineering. And, 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 and I'm happy that I think this was uh, addressed. Um, for instance, this is one, one of the comment uh, and we see why it's useful in civil engineering. And, and this was to me the one of the most important challenge. And then the fact that um, uh, they had this project where uh, at one point we asked them to do almost everything and it was quite scary for them, but they succeeded. And this is also very positive for the next education, for the next uh, uh, semester project and so on. And last but not least, uh, the key to success is great TA. Uh, and uh, and uh, yes, so I, I really want to emphasize that this, all the things that we have done, uh, it's really thanks to the TA. Uh, they have done an amazing job. And, um, and yeah, this is my advice. Uh, please try to get the best here because it, it makes a huge difference. <laughs>